Hi, my name is Corey and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems and I wanted to take a quick look at importing two-dimensional DWG files into SolidWorks and then sending those back as 2D um, DWG files. So first off, why would I want to do this whole conversion from 2D to 3D back to 2D? Well, I may have a customer that sends me a old 2D um, DWG file and they want me to edit it and send it back or perhaps I'm running a finite element analysis on it and I need a 3D model to do that and then I'd make the necessary changes and send that back to them in their file format. So in order to do that inside SolidWorks the first thing I need to do is I'm going to open up a DWG file. Upon opening this DWG file inside SolidWorks I'm going to take advantage of these tools to quickly and easily import 2D sketches that they had and I don't want to import everything they had. I literally just want to import the model so I can work on it. So I'm going to clean up their drawing right here before even going into the SOLIDWORKS environment and deleting lines. So inside SOLIDWORKS now you're going to see it converted it all into 2D sketches. Now this really nice toolbar over here which has multiple tools for converting 2D sketches into 3D. Um, things I'm not going to need. I'm not going to need this previous detailed view or top view, so I can quickly and easily delete those to save me some time. I'm also not going to need these lines that represent the chamfers in 2D, so I can just clean these up now to save myself some time in the future. So once I've cleaned this up, I'm going to select my front view sketch, and I can quickly and easily select the front view option here. So it's moved that sketch and it's made it my front view. Now that one wasn't as impressive, but when I do it with this right view and select the right view, SOLIDWORKS will automatically rotate that into place in the right view. So now I have these two individual sketches broken up, ready to become a 3D part. So what I want to do with this first one is I'm just going to extrude that out into space and I'm going to use the other one literally as my cutting tool. So rather than guessing the depth of this cut, I'm just going to take advantage of the through all feature inside SOLIDWORKS and it's going to ensure that I get the full cut. So now I actually have my 3D part ready to go and work with. Now of course I want to do some kind of design changes to this. So let's say during the finite element analysis there was a problem and this the end of my gripper finger here needs to be a little bit longer. Well I can quickly and easily make that change here inside SOLIDWORKS. I'm just going to drag this down to arbitrary length and make the end of this gripper finger slightly thicker. So now what I want to do though is I want to make this a 2D drawing for my manufacturer or to be able to send back as a DWG that looks identical to the one they sent me with these new design changes. So first off I'm just going to save my part really quick as the gripper finger and now I want to make a drawing out of this. So I'll open up the drawing environment inside SOLIDWORKS and I can take advantage of my view palette here to just really quickly and easily get my uh, full um, engineering drawing here in a matter of seconds. So I'll pull in my front view and quickly project my top view, my right view, and I could even project an isometric. However, I don't need the isometric for this. What I really need is the detailed view because that's what they originally sent me. So I'll just take a detailed view of this really quickly and now I have my detailed view on my model as well. Now as for getting this 2D drawing from SOLIDWORKS back into the DWG format, it's really easy to do. I can just do a save as, rather than saving it as a SOLIDWORKS drawing, I'll save this as a DWG. <clears throat> so I've saved it as a DWG and I'm going to rename this. And now I'm going to go ahead and open this in SOLIDWORKS draft site. So I'm going to bring this over into SOLIDWORKS draft site and it's a free program and the reason I'm opening it in draft site is it's a good representation of what this would look like inside a program like AutoCAD that they'd most likely be using. So it converts it back into this old file type, the old 2D DWG. Now there is other options for doing this same thing. Now if I didn't like this whole idea of laying out drawings and sending it back to them even though that gives them an identical view of what they sent me. I can take a DWG and do it right here as well. So I can quickly export this as a DWG or a DXF. I have multiple choices here. And I just go ahead and save that. So upon renaming this file, now I just select what I want to do, 
So I'm going to go ahead and do a DWG of this front view. And SolidWorks is going to give me a preview right here. And I can click to save this DWG. So I can send them these individual views directly from my 3D model. And that's not a problem at all. So in this video, we covered converting files from 2D into 3D and then back again into the original file type. So thanks for watching and look for more videos from Hawkridge Systems.